Percent, as you know, is a ratio that compares number to 100. That is it. Most of the time when we talk about percent, it is something over 100, right? So where you write it in a fraction with denominator as 100, the numerator becomes the percent, okay? So these are examples for this concept. Express each percent as a fraction or mixed number. So if you have more than 100 percent, you get a mixed number, correct? So 23 percent is what? You have to simply write this 23 in the numerator and denominator should be 100, correct? So it is 23 over 100. You can pause the video and answer all these questions and then look into my solution. Now 49 percent, simple, 49 over 100. So the idea is when you get person, just think about it as denominator of 100 and the number is in the numerator. Well, at times it could be more than 100. So we get like 120 percent. That means 120 over 100. Now this could be written as a mixed number, right? It is improper fraction. So we could always write this as mixed number. 120 means 100 plus 20. So 100 out of 100 is one whole and you are left with 20 out of 100. So that is one way of writing it. Well at times you can simplify this also, right? I'm not doing it at present but you could always do it. Now 0.8% that means 0 0.8 is on the top and 100 is the denominator, right? So it doesn't really matter whether the number is less than 1 or more than 1. It is that number which comes in the numerator, correct? Now, 0.8 over 100 is what you can write. Well, you can simplify this also. Both can be divided by 4, right? And then what do you get? If you divide by 4, you get 25 here and you get 0 0.2 there. 0 0.2 over 25. So at times, when you get a fraction, it could be simplified in the lowest terms. So that is a part which you may like to do. When we say 25 percent, what are we trying to say? We are trying to say 25 over 100. So just a reminder that percent is a ratio that compares number to 100. That is what it is. So 25 percent means 25 over 100. Now if you want to simplify it, you can divide both by 25, you get 1 over 4 right simply so similarly you can also do 0 0.05 percent as 0 0.05 over 100 correct so that's a way to write it you can always divide by 5 and you can write this as 0 0.01 over you can divide this also by 5 20 correct so that is how you can write this number right now, it is a good practice to always write these numbers with whole numbers on the top, not with decimals. Can you do that part? I'll get back to you. Try to do it, okay, on this. Now, this one, 137 percent. Let's write this as 137 over 100. Now, this is also improper fraction. We can write this as 1 over 37 over 100, right? 175%, 100 plus 75. So 100 is like one whole, and then we get 75 over 100. Now, it is always a good practice to write fractions in the lowest terms. That is one thing. And second thing is, we should not be writing fractions with decimals on the top, right? So we'll avoid that part also. So in that case, can you try simplifying this? We have already done fractions. Let's try to do it. So first thing is, when you get rid of this decimal, you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 10, correct? So what do you get? You get 2 over 250, right? Now when you do that, you can further divide them by 2. Then you get 1 over 125, correct? this is what you get. So 0.8 percent can be written as 1 over 125. Do you see that? So I would like those who are senior kids, I mean 
those who are in grades 7 and 8 should actually simplify it to this form for sure okay now those who are in grade 4 and 5 they may may not do it so from gate 6 onwards I would expect all the students to simplify it and then write in these terms so let's do this one also that really means we'll multiply both by 100 right so if I do that then the decimal moves two places right and I get two more zeros here correct and therefore I can write this as 1 over 2000 I hope you understand the steps which I'm trying to show you correct so all those who are in the middle school should be doing like this and writing their answers in this form the lowest term without decimals in the top correct now let us simplify others also where we have this kind of a fraction so it could be written as one whole 75 and 100 could be divided by 25 so it's 3 over 4 correct this we have already done we could simplify this also 1 1 over 5 do you see that so this means 120 percent correct so that is how we can complete our work have a good look at it and try to see so if you are in junior school then what I wrote earlier is good enough for you just write the number with 100 beneath it as the denominator but if you are in the middle school I expect you to simplify them and write them as fractions if the fraction is improper fraction you should write them as a mixed number with whole numbers on the top no decimals correct I have shown you how to do it in this case we multiplied by 10 moved it to one decimal place made it 250 and then simplified divided both by 2 to get 1 over 125 I hope that is clear we will do one more sheet like this and then I hope everything will be good for you thank you and all the best